Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome to the first ever FBS game in Morgan State University history. It has been a long time coming here, and now we are finally at the old home opener here in this dynasty, as now we get, continue a new era in football. Morgan State has been around for quite a while, but now it's time for a new challenge at FBS level. We are going up against the best competition that the college level can find. Now, I did switch around the schedule because I accidentally had coach contracts on. So I did actually schedule Duke because I do want to eventually get promoted into the ACC or SCC. That is the eventual goal. So we should just start out by playing ACC schools right away. Now, Duke has a ton of weapons on offense. That is definitely their specialty at receiver. So we have to play good defense and shut down this Duke passing offense. So let's not waste any time. Morgan State season one is now underway as we are getting it kicked off to their star receiver, Grievous, as he does take it up the middle. And he almost brings it back to the 50 yard line on the opening return. So now here comes Duke on an offense. Smith, that quarterback, play action fake, throws across the middle. He's got Cobb, his slot receiver, who does get taken down for about a gain of almost 20 yards and a first down to start out for Duke on offense. So here comes Smith under center this time. He's going to lob it over to another Smith, and that's his tight end. And he will get tackled by Chambers on the left side. And that's a first, almost a first down as it gets it to a second and inches. This time Smith tries to scramble out and he gets tackled by Griffin, the strong safety, who comes down and makes the tackle. And now third and inches from the 23. Another handoff this time. Johnson stopped in the backfield by Eli Day. And now here we go. That is actually Giffen on that one. Scott Giffen. Who am I saying? So now. Fourth and one, 20 from the 24 yard line. They're gonna allow him to go for this one. Let's see if we can stop him. Smith under center, he drops back. Wide open is Grievous. He's got it at about the one yard line and he dives to the goal line and he cannot get there. And now they are set up at about the inch yard line. Play action fake. Smith throws out to left side. He's got Smith again. It's a touchdown, his second reception of the drive. We tried to deflect that one. And that is actually Ellington, the free safety. He dives. And he is not even close. And now Duke takes the 7-0 lead. As here comes the junior quarterback. That's going to be Caesar. Now, I do like him because he is a mobile quarterback. We'll have to see how he does in the debut. First play, play action fake, and Caesar will go down. And that is a sack by Alford. And he was in right away on that one. And now we already have it to a second and 20. This time, Duke sends the blitz, and we get hit on the throw. And luckily... Dotson Jr. is there for the catch and take a look. Clifford Todd, one of their best defensive ends, goes in and he gets injured. So now that brings it to a third and long. A throw across the middle. It's picked off by Alexander Caesar. Did not have enough on it. And the junior quarterback is going to throw his first interception of his career. Take a look. He was looking for Bryce Dotson Jr. deep across the middle. He just didn't have enough arm on that one. Didn't give it over the, over the top of the linebacker. And instead, now Smith takes back over at quarterback for the Duke Blue Devils. Here's the first throw out to left side. It's almost picked off by the senior Chambers. But take a look. Our star defensive lineman, Raymond Wells, is shaken up on the play. This is one thing I love about NCAA 11 on the PS2. I mean, you can get so many injuries, and, you know, it's just realistic. I mean, guys get injured off the ball, on the ball, wherever. I really love that portion of this game. So lined up at a third and 11. This time Smith throws to the end zone. It's Grievous again who beats Chambers in man coverage. It's a touchdown. And now Duke takes the 14-0 lead here on the road. And now here we go. Now it's now down 14-0 in Morgan State. Let's see if we can get something going. Because here we go. Handing the ball off to our power running back. And that's Bobo Christopher. He can't get anything on that one. And now we get it to a second and long. Once again, throw across the middle. Blake Childress Jr. gets lit up. And now we're set up for a third and 12. We have not moved the ball at all. Throw to left side. It's picked off again this time by Lewis. And that was intended for Bryce Dotson. We need to get our best playmakers the ball. And that was just simply overthrown. And Lewis comes up with it. The second interception thrown by Wendell Caesar. 
as here we are back on defense. This time, rushing the passer. Smith breaks the tackle. He spins away, fumbles again. He fumbles twice on the same play, and Cobb picks it up. Let's take a look at this one. He gets flipped over, our defensive lineman does, and Smith picks it up, throws off a defender, that's Ellington, spins away from Chambers, and then fumbles it again, and somehow Cobb picks it up. Wow, what a sequence that was. And now they get a second chance. Smith goes deep. It's almost picked off by Makoko on the right side. And now here we are once again. Get him backed up on a third and long. This time Smith tries to scramble out to the right side, and that one is a tackle that time. And that is Eli Day. And now we get them to punt the ball away. And this punt will land inside the five-yard line. And that's one thing you've got to love about these old PS2 NCAA games. They can pin you inside the five-yard line. They'll knock it down just like you just saw there. So now back on offense, we try to run the option that time with John Henderson, our slot receiver, as we pitch it out to Kavon Wallace. And he gets, man, I mean, he got hit hard at about the one-yard line. So now we're backed up to our one. We have yet to get a first down yet. They send the blitz up the middle. Duke throws to the right side, and that's going to be almost caught by Henderson. And wow. We have not moved the ball at all. And now Duke gets set up with great field position. And look at the first handoff up the middle. It's Johnson who picks up about a gain of about 19 yards. And a first down as here comes Duke under center this time. Smith, he's going to try to throw the ball. He sacked that time. And that is going to be a sack by Lee, the senior defensive tackle, who is now filling in for our injured defensive end. And now we get it to uh, second and down. Here's a throw to the end zone. And it's Stanley who comes up with it in the end zone. It's a touchdown. And Duke is just doing anything they want. I mean, defensively, offensively, it's 21 to nothing here. As here comes the, C the junior quarterback, Wendell Caesar, back out onto the field. Throw to left side, and it is incomplete. I believe that was John Henderson that was attended for. You can just see the quarterback comparison so far. Wendell Caesar has yet to complete a pass. The first throw out to left side. It's an easy catch by Bryce Dotson Jr. That's actually his second completion. What am I saying? He's got two catches in this one for zero yards. So Wendell Caesar on a third down. Throws across the middle, and it is just incomplete. I mean, that was just not accurate, accurate at all. Knocked down, and here comes Smith back out onto the field with Duke. First pass out to the right side. He finds his tight end, Stanley, who fights up field, and he will get enough for the first down. And now they get it to the 31-yard line. And now under center this time is Smith again. This time throws across the middle. He's got Cobb again, who gets tripped up just at about the 9-yard line by Ellington, the sophomore uh, safety on that one. And now Smith has been moving the ball on all drives in this game. So here is Smith this time. He's going to take it up the middle, and he's going to get tackled. That about the one by Marshall. And now they get it to the one-yard line. We do get him to get it to a third and goal. Throw across the middle, and it's caught by Grievous. Again, his second touchdown grab of the game. And, wow, this is turning into an ugly game. As now here comes Wendell Caesar back out onto the field to lead this Morgan State offense. This time he tried to take it up the middle and try to cut back, but he did run out of real estate on that one. Only a gain of one. As now here comes Caesar again. A bad snap, and he gets lit up in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards. Take a look. I mean, that was just, <laughs> I mean, that was a disrespectful hit on that one. I mean, he had nowhere to go. And now third and long, down by 28. Throw across the middle, and he can't find his intended target. That may have set his receiver up to get hit hard, but at least complete the pass. Give your guy a shot. Maybe that can be credited to a drop, but I'm not sure. The throw is a little bit too far. And now here we go back out on defense. They get set up with great field position on every single drive. But here's a scram out to the right side, and it's a sack that time by Dennis Lee, the senior who already has two in this game. And now third and long. This time throw across the middle, and it is going to be caught. And that's caught by Grievous again, who's already got two touchdown catches in this game. And here comes Smith again. He's going to try to scramble up the middle. He gets brought down from behind, and that's going to be Zane Bostic, the freshman. And take a look. Bobby Ellington, who has made a couple of plays in this one, is shaking up on that play. And now Smith throws to the right side. It's almost picked off by Griffin. And, wow, that one was an opportunity wasted. And now they hand it off to Johnson, who capitalizes on that. 
touchdown, one yard out, and those are the plays you got to have. If you got an interception in your hand like that, you got to take advantage. So now towards the end of the first half, they're up 35 nothing. And to add more insult to injury or maybe injury to insult, I mean, look at this. An injury on our best player, Bryce Dotson Jr., and that's how we go into halftime, 35 first to nothing. Ten. So here we go to start the second half. I mean, we need to do something. So we're going to try to just run the ball a little bit. Here's the option to the right side. This time, Wendell Caesar pitches it out to Kevon Wallace, and he's going to put it on a juke move and only pick up a gain of two yards. You can just see every team is just way faster than us. They're just better athletically. Here's a throw across the middle. And finally, a first down, the first first down of the game. That's Blake Childress Jr., who's actually lined up second on our depth chart at receiver. He gets the first down. Here comes Wendell Caesar. This time the triple option, not gonna work. They get hit. He gets hit hard in the backfield, loss of two yards. And that brings it to a second and 13. Good protection up front. But a throw to left side and that was just way underthrown. Three for 11 for Wendell Caesar. And now another third down here on in this game. Scramble out to the left side. Caesar, he's got speed, but he does get pushed out for about a gain of six. And let's see what the coach does. We're down by 35, why not go for it? Wendell tries to throw the ball and it is gonna be a turnover. And this Duke defense is definitely putting up a number on, on our team and their offense is doing what they want as well. It's not even close in the opener. We didn't expect it to be close, but here's a throw out to the right side. It's picked off finally by Griffin. But take a look, he is injured. So he catches the interception. We, when we do something good, something bad happens. But at least he got a turnover, so we can at least say that we did cause an interception. But here comes our offense back onto the field, just getting shut down. As you can see, we tried to give the ball to Wallace, who's in for Bobo Christopher, the starting running back. And now here's a throw on a third down across the middle, and it is just picked off again. And wow, I mean, this is just destruction. And even our offensive linemen are getting hurt in this game. As I love that about this game as well. Our offensive linemen can get hurt. I don't think I've ever seen it on NCAA 14. So here on the next play, here's a throw out to the left side and it's gonna be stripped on the sack. Let's take another look. That is gonna be Tony Pike on that one coming around the edge. And he is gonna strip that one and now we're set up. Let's just put some points on the board. Let's put together a nice little drive. Play action fake on the first play. We're gonna air it out to John Henderson, who's got it downfield. Finally, somebody makes the play. That's about a gain of 33 yards on that catch and run. And now it is a first down. So we're set up past the 50 for the first time here in this game. Here's a handoff, Bobo Christopher. He's got strength and he will drag a defender forward for about a gain of eight. And now that eventually gets us to a third and one. About a minute 15 left here in the third quarter. Caesar buying some time, tries to lob it over the top, but take a look, it's incomplete, but a roughing the passer call. So we get an automatic first down. So now we're set up at about the 23 yard line after the penalty. I'm glad we got the help on this drive because we have needed it so far in this game. We need at least one break. And on the left, next play, we throw it to left side and the screen pass, and it is dropped. And I don't know if we would have got around that defender anyway, but you never know. We could have broke the tackle. So once again, throw out to left side, and it's going to be incomplete. But take a look. Another flag. It's going to be roughing the passer again. Take a look. Wendell Caesar gets lit up by White. I don't know. That looked like targeting to me. He maybe should have been ejected. I'm not sure. But we do get a free first down. So here's Bobo Christopher, another handoff. He has not had much room in this one. You can just see six rushes for 11 yards so far. And now towards the end of the third quarter, throw to the end zone, and it is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion, but I'm just wanting to get some points on the board. We're just gonna knock this field goal through for three points, and Watkins at least gets us on the board for the first points of this dynasty. So here comes uh, the backup quarterback out onto the field now. That is going to be Royal. He throws out to the right side, and that's about a gain of three yards. As now Duke throws on a third down across the middle, and it is going to be dropped by the backup tight end, James Carpenter, who will be shaken up. I really love the injuries because 
This is about the same amount of injuries you would see in real life. I mean, you wouldn't see them every single drive, but you would at least see some. And until like 14, you really don't see that. So back to this game. Here is Carmelo Neely in the game, the true freshman. And then he gets sacked, and he coughs it up. And now Duke takes back over. And wow, I mean, that is just devastating. We just wanted to get our back up some work, and it looks like they're going to throw to the end zone on the next drive, and it's an easy pitch and catch. Montgomery is in, and the backup quarterback's even torching our defense. And now we have one more shot as we do give Carmelo Neely, the true freshman, one more drive. Here's a throw to left side, and it's going to be knocked away. He was looking for uh, his four-string receiver that is actually Johnson on the left side. And that's going to bring it to a second and ten. A handoff. Kavon Wallace gets lit up, and he coughs this one up. And that one is going to be recovered by Duke. And that is how this one will end. Five total turnovers in this one. And wow, this one was devastating. <laughs> Wallace just got lit up. And he coughs this one up. And look at this. All these guys are on the ball, and we still can't pick it up. Our quarterback is literally on the ball, and he still doesn't get it. And Noah grabs it. And that is how this one ends. 42-3 to here. And wow, the opener did not go as well as expected. I didn't expect to really put on a great show here. I knew our team was bad, probably the worst in the NCAA. We have the number 120th ranking right now in the preseason. I mean, we are literally ranked last, so I wasn't expecting too much, but this was bad. I mean, Wendell Caesar threw three interceptions, four for 20. I mean, we couldn't do anything couldn't run the ball six for 11 yards for Bobo Christopher our power back and this was just not a good showing in the opening this very well could be a very long season Bryce Dotson will be okay he was injured right before halftime but he will be okay going into next week it was just an injury for this game and then Dennis Lee I mean if we had one bright spot this game was that Dennis Lee the backup defensive tackle who moved over to defensive end after the injury to our main defensive end actually got three sacks in this one and then Griffin got an interception as well Trenton Smith 12 for 19 155 yards three touchdowns Royal their backup quarterback came in and also threw an in, threw a touchdown and I mean they just dominated from start to finish it wasn't even close as you can just see, we went 1 of 10 on third down. They went 50%. And looking at the total offense, they only had 218 yards, but it's mainly because they didn't even have to drive the length of the field at all. So it looks like Wells and Griffin, who did suffer injuries in that game, are both going to be out for four weeks apiece. So Raymond Wells is definitely the biggest blow because I think that he was a staple on the defensive line and we don't have a deep defensive line. We don't have a deep team at all, but I mean, getting rid of one of the best players on our team, it's definitely going to hurt us going forward. So we will need to replace him and we'll see because our main man Bostic and also Dennis Lee, they had pretty good games. They had a sack each. Dennis Lee obviously had three and Bostic had one. So we'll see how they can fill in next week as we take on SMU for our first conference game. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left, spent the rest on.